kind of a legendary first day wingman. Hey, do any of them know that I'm a... What, a monster magnet? Nope. Because you're not anymore. All right, don't worry. You're gonna fit in just fine. Where to next, wingman? No matter what you have to say to me, I will hear it with my very soul. Oh boy, well, that's a lot of pressure. Well, then perhaps if I put it in your parlance. What's up, bro? Yeah, that totally helps. I have no idea what I'm doing. You know, what's happening here seems quite obvious to me, Chad. Shame me up. Why? So you'll be defenseless while you get eaten alive? Yes, that's generally how it works. Hell no, that's torture. I have a uh, relative who was gifted with such things. Let me try. Cool, yeah, well, uh, you do that. I'll go start cutting up some paper. As you wish. And I can live with that because at least you're alive to hate me. Which means I saved the life of someone that I love. Is that seriously how you're gonna tell me that for the first time? But I know now. I'm ready to let go of the person that my father wanted me to be. Mm. Oh. I'm not sure. I'm finally home. Until the day, sure, my best friend and lover fell ill. And I realized that both of those things would need to happen were Ash to live. The only reason I could think of is that I died yesterday. So I thought, what if being brought back to life reset my curse? Kind of like your dad dying broke yours? You don't think you're a werewolf, do you? Well, I know I'm not now. <gasps> Thank you for the healing spells. just told me that Wolfsbane, and I quote, burns like a bitch. Yeah, that's the whole point. Well, that answers that. Why are you not in pain? Good morning. We slept through Ethan's memorial service. Such is the nature of war. The living must celebrate their survival before they mourn their dead. Like I've changed a lot lately in ways that I'm really proud of. Someone newly freed from that wish to find him for millennia. I understand. Fight me, huh? Come on, fight me! Stop, come with me. I'll show you how. I'm really sorry.
you're going to be searching for something, please just consider letting me be a part of your quest to find. Well, you can't mean it. Because love means fighting beside the people you care about, not against them. And I would have fought with you no matter what came for us. Allow me. I thought I'd lost you. Our friend's in charge of Limo now. He sent us back. I'm assuming there was a prince. Ethan, get them out of here. I'll handle him. I just don't see any other way. I, for one, could use a little more celebrating. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be insensitive about the death of your classmate. I know. It's not just that. Information. About the gods. How powerful they are. I don't think hope is the only one in trouble. Something's off with me. I feel different. Spend last night with a demigod. I'd be a little offended if you didn't. Do you know what separates men from gods? Togas? <laughs> Magic. Oh. But if you think less of me as a result, then. No, no, I. I feel great about that. So all I can do now is pay it forward. Live the best life I can. I've come to prefer men. Simple, like Jed. I suppose remaining here beats passing through the small intestine of a gorgon again. <laughs> Physically, something's changed. Well, then, she'll figure out what something is. There are gay guys. Like you. Yeah. Just another horny idiot. Mm -hmm. I can work with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dinner is served. Mm -hmm. We could call it love.